Greetings from Glasgow, Scotland. Hey everybody, it's Ryan and I'm here in the birthplace of my grandmother, Elizabeth McDougall, Glasgow, Scotland. We're gonna check in with Teresa who's here with us and she's gonna paint us a picture of Elizabeth McDougall and tell us what brings you to Scotland. Hey Teresa. Hello, here we are. It's the third week of October in the year 2012. And what's bringing you to Scotland? Well, a promise that I made to the children that after we saw Poland, we see Scotland. And the second one is I got a very impulsive young son who loves to travel. And if I told him we were going to Timbuktu, I think we'd be there until next week. Now, what's the importance of Scotland in the Ryan family history that you wanted us to see this beautiful country? Well, my husband was John Ryan, and his parents were Elizabeth McDougall, married to Thomas Ryan, and this is where they had both come from. They both were living here at the time that they migrated to America, and that was back in the late 20s. And she went to Jersey, I believe it was Elizabeth, or somewhere in Jersey, and I, I'm not sure where Tom went, but somehow or another they met each other, and in a very short time they were married and had three children, the oldest being Mary, and the second one being the only son, John, and the youngest one being Maggie, Margaret. Could we uh, see a photograph? You have a picture of John, your husband, with you. Yes. Your wedding picture from Maspeth, Queens, New York. There's always a twist in the story. My in-laws were from Scotland, but their son got married in a Polish church. Now, there's an anniversary happening as well this weekend, is that correct? Yes, the uh, parents, Lizzie, Elizabeth and Tom will be married, oh well, God knows, I don't know how many years, but they got married in the late 20s in New York. This month? Yes, in the month of October. I believe it was the same year that the stock market dropped. Now, your husband's family is half Irish, half Scottish. The Irish side of his family had came to Scotland, is that correct? And everybody before leaving for the United States left from right where we are now? Elizabeth, Glasgow. Elizabeth Pajogo, as we know it, was strictly Scotch, Scottish right down the line. And as far as Thomas uh, Ryan, they actually migrated here perhaps two generations prior to himself from Ireland. So he is an Irish man living in a Scottish country. Now what can you tell us about Elizabeth McDougall? Sort of explain her personality type. She was a very strong, staunch woman. Extremely short, but not in her disposition. She, she had a strong mind and she lived to be in her 80s and she knew every thought to the day she closed her eyes. Now we're going to be celebrating Halloween in Dublin, which brings me to a point of interest about celebrating my grandmother, Elizabeth McDougall. The three things that I remember most about her is visiting her, she would serve you either scones or jello. And now the, the thing that ties us to Halloween in Dublin is whenever you visited her house, she was celebrating Halloween 365 days out of the year in her fine china closet. She had two little waxed candles of bright orange witches that were around all of her finest china. I don't know even know where they came from. Maybe they were from a, a trip that she had taken herself, but whenever you went to visit her, you kind of got to celebrate Halloween, and that's the one thing I remembered about uh, joyously visiting her home in Maspeth, Queens. And the interesting thing I've learned recently is she never gave up her Scottish citizenship. The entire time after she left right here where we are today, Glasgow, Scotland, and moved to Queens, New York, I guess she would be what you'd call a loyalist. She had a green card, and she never became a United States citizen, and she never voted, but that's different for her husband. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, yes, Elizabeth had to go to the post office each year to re-register in January. Her husband became a citizen, and he did vote, and they were different, but they were quite the same. Beautiful people. So now that you finally made it to Scotland, what does it look like, Teresa? Very modern, very contemporary. It does have old buildings which have history, but it really is it's gorgeous. And it's full of people. All right, that's it for now. We've got a lot more to see and do. Till next time. Who knows where, where we go next. See you then. Love you all.